Hi everyone and welcome to our latest unboxing. It's the Doctor Who Advent Calendar from Eagle Moss. It's Christmas Eve and we all know what that means. It's the final box for the calendar and the 24th of December is an absolute whopper. Um, hopefully this is going to be something pretty spectacular. It's the, obviously it's an absolutely massive box. We hope that it's not going to disappoint like some of the smaller boxes have. So without wasting any more time, we'll take a look and then we'll give you a quick rundown and recap of the whole set. Tell you what we think of the whole box and whether we think it's been good, good value for money. So it, there's a little bit of weight to this, it's rattling a little bit so we think there should be something really good inside. So let's take a look. There's actually not a lot in it compared to the size of the box. There's actually something quite small. Um, it is a metal tin. Um, it's the Doctor Who episodic collection. So I'm not sure what's actually inside this. So let's crack it open and have a look. Um, it's actually a set of metal coasters. First one is Angel Takes Manhattan. Yes. Blink. City of Death. And Genesis of the Daleks. The top part is all metal, and then normal coasters on the back. Um, as a final item, it's not too bad. Uh, possibly, possibly would have expected a little bit more for the big item in the, in the set. It's got a nice little presentation to it as well. Um, but yeah, it's not a bad little item. Um, whether it's, is it a little bit of an anticlimax? I don't know whether, obviously with their connections with Eagle Moss and their figurine collection, whether maybe a figure would have been a nice item to finish off the set. I don't know, but yeah. Um, so overall, the, collect, the set can do itself. There's been some really great items in there. The playing cards I thought were quite great, quite good. The canine keyring from a couple of days ago. The the socks, obviously, we all love Christmas socks. Um, but then there've been some absolutely diabolical things. I mean, obviously, come back to the good things. The tea towel I loved. Some great pin badges. But then we've at the other end of the spectrum, we've had some pretty dire items. The I mean the sticker being folded up the way it was made that sticker pretty awful the so it's been really a mixed bag in some senses value wise you can pick the calendar up for between about 60 and 100 pounds which means each item would have had a price tag of between three and four pounds if you look at it and break it down in that sense is each item worth three to four pounds each some i'd say undoubtedly three pounds four pounds for a for good licensed pin badge is not a bad price the playing cards would i pay three to four pounds for a doctor who play a set of doctor who playing cards absolutely i would would i pay four pounds for a set of coasters probably not i mean coasters are not going to last long if they're getting stained with coffee would i pay four pounds for that doctor who tea towel yes would i pay four pounds for a print probably not would i pay four pounds for a sticker absolutely not i wouldn't even pay 50 pence for something like that so it is certainly hit and miss but overall 60 pounds for this whole calendar absolutely it's well worth it 100 pounds i would certainly hesitate but you can because it's not a dated calendar it doesn't have a set year on it i would these are going to be available i mean even though eagle moss are no longer in business these calendars are still available on amazon ebay and so on so it is worth picking one up if you can find it at the lower end of the price range between 60, 70, 80 pounds. You've seen what's obviously if you've been watching these videos now for the last few weeks, you'll see these available online. You've seen what's actually on offer. If you do feel like getting one for yourself uh, to open next year, you know what's on offer. You know the sort of merchandise you'll be getting and they are going to be good value for money. You'll get some really fun items and the whole opening of it again is quite fun. There is a similar Star Trek one available, and if the quality of the overall merch, the overall merchandise quality is as good as this, you certainly won't be disappointed. I haven't been, and it's been fun opening these over the last month, and I've 
got some really nice pieces in there. The disappointments are certainly outweighed by the, the great stuff inside. So overall, yes, it's been a great advent calendar. It's been great fun opening these with all of you. And, you know, I hope that another company will come along and make something similar in the future. Anyway, I'd love to hear what you think of the, in the comments, not only of today's item, but of the calendar as a whole. Uh, let us, you know, drop us a like, and if you're not already doing so, please subscribe and watch some of our future Doctor Who unboxings. Uh, thanks for watching, and we'll see you all again next time. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to click on the like button and leave us a comment below. Also, spare a moment to share this video on Twitter, Facebook and all your social media pages. To get updates on all of our latest videos delivered straight to your inbox, subscribe now using the link on the screen.